Hi, Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. And I'm here to talk to you about Nimble.com. I've done a few videos already on Nimble, but most of my emphasis, I think, up until now, has been on the social media aspect of it because that's, to me, one of the most compelling things. What's the purpose of a CRM? The purpose of a CRM is to identify opportunities and to keep track of your progress in terms of pursuing those opportunities and closing those deals. That's really what a CRM was designed for. And as I learned from John Ferrari himself when we had lunch one day, uh, he's the CEO of Nimble. Um, he explained to me that you know the, the, your your potential for success in some respects is uh, you know it can be measured by you know in the old days it was who's in your Rolodex you know who's in those little spinny things those are the people whose business cards you had accumulated people contacts that you had right so and, and it's you know how many times have we heard the expression it's not what you know it's who you know so and it really does come down to your contacts if you want to be able to make something happen I don't think anyone will argue especially amongst any entrepreneurs it's all about what kind of a team you put together in order to accomplish that task so a CRM is there to help you identify who those people are that you want on your team to help create whatever idea it is that you have in your mind that you want to bring to life so that's what the purpose of a CRM is. And that's why I think the social media aspect of Nimble is so compelling. But I think I've probably overlooked or, you know, sort of sidestepped some of the other important CRM-like features that are all there in Nimble. So that's the purpose of today's video. Now, what I've done is I've cleared out all of my contacts. You're looking at my Nimble account with no contacts in there. And this is how you're going to start out, of course, if you take a brand new Nimble account. Now, as you can see, when I click on all here, it says you do not have any contacts in Nimble. Click uh, to import new contacts. Click here. So from here, it will let me import from any of my social networks, which I've already connected. I've given Nimble permission to access my social networks. Um, Google Plus, it won't import from. That's the only one. But everything else, it will. And, of course, I've given it... Um, uh, access to my Google, my Gmail account, so that it can import my contacts from my Gmail account. Now, I don't necessarily want to do that in this case. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add in a few contacts one at a time because I want to show you some of the things that you can set up in terms of tracking companies and people at companies. And in particular, if I go over to contacts, um, we want to start assigning tags to people. So first thing we need to do is add in a new contact. And I also want you to see what Nimble does as soon as you add a contact. So let's add a person. We're going to start with me, okay? So let's add in Seth David. Okay, title, nerd, company nerd, enterprises incorporated. Email Seth at nerdenterprises. Dot com. Now, what they do is they give you the basic information, 866-945-8070. And if I want to just get somebody in there quick, I can stop here, but I can also click Continue Editing if I want to fill out the entire context profile. And here's where you start to get a bit of a dossier. And look what Nimble's already doing. As I'm speaking, it's found, it found my Facebook profile. It found my Twitter account. It found my LinkedIn. It's crawling the web based on my email address and finding all my contact information. Now here I can complete the mailing address, 2416 West Victory Boulevard, uh, number 102, Burbank, California, 91506 country United States and they did the politically correct thing by not putting the United States up at the top politically correct I, I guess what I mean by that is you know the non ethnocentric thing that a lot of US based companies will just assume oh most people are from the United States let's put that first it was a uh, you know good on you nimble for uh, for doing that so uh, and down here it, it found my YouTube channel so we can call that other Again, my Facebook URL, I pulled in uh, my little tagline from LinkedIn. So this is the power of Nimble is it crawls the web and it will help me put together the contact information about a particular contact the second I add them in. And here's my Google Plus profile. So let's add that one, right? And then let's click Update. So now here's my contact and it's going to give me kind of a little dossier on me. And look what it's doing. It's bringing in, you know, all of my recent tweets, you know, my social feed. Over here is the contact information. Here's the social stream. This is kind of everything. Over here would be emails, okay? 
Uh, well, here's all, and then if I just want to see email here, but I haven't, well, actually it's going to show some of my recent emails because I've connected my Gmail account to this. And here's the activities. So if I've created activities and added them to my calendar, those would show up here. Here are deals. Here are contact notes, so I can, you know, create a note about a contact, right? And of course, here are shared connections. So, of course, this is me, but it's sort of looking at it as though I was another person. So it's finding contacts that I'm connected to. Now, let's also add this Google Plus. So it's finding social profile matches. As time goes on, it's looking for more people, and then it's finding my connections. Okay, and so now that I've added uh, some more stuff in, look what it does. It's got my Google Plus description. It's pulling in information from around the web about me, and it's finding it all. It's a little scary, actually, but it's finding it all based on my email address. Now let's go over to the company. If I click on Nerd Enterprises, it's going to show here's the company, here are the people in this company. Now I have a couple people to add to that, but first let's click from the company and here's my Nerd Enterprises Inc. Uh, Facebook page and my Nerd Enterprises Inc. Google Plus profile, so let's add those in. Okay, and again it's just looking for more information here. Let's come back to me for a minute. Okay, what we want to do is over here add tags right so you know first thing I would do is uh, and it says you know separate tags with commas so let's create a tag for me so I just know that any kind of profiles that have to do with me you know are going to have that tag let's put uh, nerds because what I might do is have a tag for anybody any sort of nerds that I work with because some people work for me some people are um, you know subcontractors that work with me so I might want to tag them all nerds so let's click done okay and so now it's going to have I think I needed to click add tags first so let's say me nerds and it's loading it's looking to see if these tags already exist and then I'll click add so now when I come back here it's got the tags here and also if I go over to contacts now the main contacts feed notice what it does it starts listing the tags here alphabetically so it becomes very easy anytime I've assigned a tag to a person I can just go and notice what nimble does when I originally go to contacts it goes to recently viewed which is most likely the the most frequent people that I kind of look at it's going to bring to the top that way of course I can come here and choose to look at all people and these are just people as opposed to companies so the all will include both people and companies okay recently viewed recently added recently contacted it knows because it's tracking my message correspondence with people if I come over here to messages it's bringing all messages in but notice along the right some of them are Facebook some of them are email so now look what happens um, let me add in a couple of new people here I'm gonna pull up their contact information on my other screen so I can start adding in some email addresses so if you uh, have ever gone to my QuickBooks training site and look to schedule a QuickBooks training with us you might have noticed that we have three people that do the instruction myself and two others Bruce and Harold so let's add Bruce in mainly because I know he won't mind me putting his information up here in a video like this so I'm gonna click add a person and it's gonna be Bruce McFarland and before and he's uh, I'll, I'll leave the title out his company is actually called LNR Tax Preparation so we'll be adding a new company here and then I'm going to use he has Bruce at nerdenterprises.com but I'm going to use his uh, main company email because that's probably the one that's and I can add additional email addresses of course but that's the one that I'm thinking you know will likely find all of his social profiles for me so let's click uh, let's just click save on this one okay so it's got the dossier boom it's finding all of his profiles a couple of them it automatically brought in right away I can add his Google Plus this is clearly not him so I can click the trash can and that's clearly not him that one could be I'll come back to that but again I can go here add tags and if I start typing NER it finds nerds it notices that I've got an existing tag there I click add done now let's go over to uh, edit this I want to add him as a you know part of Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. So let's say I put Nerd Enterprises instead, and it finds it because I've added the company in. Let's update this, and it says the company previously attached to has no more contacts. Do I want to delete it? I'm going to say no. 
because I'm just doing this for a minute to show you what it looks like. Because now look what happens. I can go to Nerd Enterprises Inc., the company, and it's got both me and Bruce there. And let's go to Messages. And see what it does? It brings together messages between me and Bruce. And for that matter, it would include messages from anybody who I have listed as somebody who's part of Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. Right? So these are emails that went uh, between me and Bruce. I can specifically look at Twitter. Right? Here's Bruce liking some YouTube videos of mine. So again, it has an amazing way of taking the information and letting you pivot around so that you can access what you know the information you need to. Now let's say I create a deal. Let's go to deals, right? And then it's uh, this is new actually. I haven't seen this um, you know since the last time I was here. But it's it's creating columns showing me what stage it's in. So I had I guess a few uh, deals in here that were um, probably me just playing around, but. Uh, Anyway, it's breaking it up into the comms. I've got the scroll bar here, so it shows me where along the timeline that deal might be. But if I go to New Deal, and let's just create a sample deal, me and Bruce, right, related to Bruce McFarland, related to Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. Okay, I can leave the rest of this blank right now, and I can click Continue Editing if I wanted to put in more details about this deal. But let's save it. So now look what it does. Again, it brings us in here. Now, let's go back to the tag question. Contacts. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to go to all contacts, right? So again, all contacts is just going to list companies and contacts. It's got the individuals and the companies. Over here it's got tags. So if I click, if I click nerds, it's got me and Bruce because I've tagged us both as nerds. So again, you get the idea. I can create all the tags I want. I can assign them to contacts and click on a tag to look at just those contacts. So social gives me the social feeds. I can now see all the people who I'm connected to on social networks. Even though I don't have them in here as contacts, it's still monitoring my social accounts and the activity. So I can go to Calvin Lee here. And this is what I was trying to show you when I hover my mouse over his name. It gives me a little pop-up that shows me all the information about him. I can bring him in. I can import him as a contact. I can direct message or I can create a task based on this contact. So I can add a task, which then it puts his information into the description. And I can say, you know, I want to uh, call him and talk about the deal that we're doing, whatever it is. So you really have a lot that you can do here in terms of managing your contacts. And that's why I think it's so great for uh, a CRM in particular for you know financial professionals like myself where we really you know have situations come up often where we want to be able to keep track of you know our clients let's say right so I wanna you know I would certainly create a tag if I you know to track all of my clients and I would create a tag called clients that's why they call it nimble because it's very nimble I can easily bounce around and pivot around the information that I you know want to be able to see about a particular contact so I think it's great there's lots of CRMs out there to choose from uh, you can look below in the description of this video for links to do a free trial of nimble and of course if you have any questions or you would like some training on nimble reach out to me at 866-945-8070 or seth at nerdenterprises.com and I'll be very happy to walk you through a demo of how you might use nimble for your own company uh, you know while you've taken the free trial so that you can you know I can help you make the decision about whether or not this is something that you feel you can really use for your own organization I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you on the web